Hey, how y'all doing this morning? This morning, we're going to do about a four pound rump roast on the smoker outside. Uh, I think it's going to give some really good flavor. Uh, look, I'll show it to y'all real quick here. Look at it, man. I got this four pound rump that's been marinating all night. Let me show you a little bit about what we marinated in and everything. All right, for the marinade last night, I just used some of this old Stubbs beef marinade. You know, just kind of stops so up. For the rub today, I'm gonna use some more of this Dizzy Pig, and this is the Red Eye Express. It's a coffee infused rub, barbecue rub. Man, I know that's good on beef. Real, real good. So let's get this roast here. That's just been sitting out the refrigerator for a little bit, trying to come down the temp. We'll just get it kind of rubbed down good with this Red Eye Express, this good coffee infused rub. I think this is gonna add a lot of good flavor to it. So right here, we got it all dusted up with my good red eyes breast here. And we're gonna just let it sit, kind of come down to room temperature a little bit more. Meanwhile, we're gonna go out to the grill. I'm gonna show you something new I got. All right, y'all, anyway, so I've been watching you know, a bunch of you on YouTube channels, barbecue channels and stuff like that. And you know, I love using my barbecue stacker, that Cajun Bandit and stuff. But I decided I was going to give something else to try here. You know, I may be able to pair this with my Cajun Bandit later on, but this is this, make a lot of noise here, Smokinator 1000. I don't know uh, if y'all have seen this before. If not, I'll, I'll post a link, but I know a lot of you with the barbecue channels and stuff have used this before. I'm going to give this a try, mainly because today it's going to be, it's only going to be about a six hour cook with this. I'm only going for like a medium rare on this roast and that's perfect for doing a six hour cook you can't do longer you just have to refuel or a lot of people use two of those setups anyway so i'm gonna give that a try today we'll roll with that let me get you down here where you can see the grill it's so bright out here all right i believe you can see here um i'm gonna go ahead and set up the smoking aid 1000 in here kind of show you basically how it's done you want to take first and take this little drip pan extra out of here and I've got my original charcoal grate there in the grill we're going to put this because I'm going to have my smoke come out this way put this right here clip down it's about like that it just fits right there in the grill and we're going to put about 48 charcoal briquettes right down in there you know me now, man. I've started using this this roll. I, I really like. They've got these nice, what these ridges, briquettes. I think they burn really good, nice and even, and everything. So I'll put 40, 48 briquettes down in here, and I'll get right back to you. I actually counted out the 48 briquettes this time. It's my first time doing it. What they say, I pull them down in here. Move them around a little bit. Put them in the sides there. Oh, I see. You need to get, yeah, you want to get that underneath the clip here in the grill. That way it'll hold good. So, kind of just even those out. Now I'm going to get some wood chips. I'm going to put some of these wood chips, just a little water pan. This is their little water pan. Full right down in here. I'll put this one here, actually. On there, kind of, you know, just spread them around throughout the deal. And this is where you can get your smoke, of course. All right, you gotta make sure you still got room to get your paint in there. There we go. That's what we want. Now, I'll take four briquettes, put them in here, and light them. Then we'll pour that in there and light the whole deal. It's all be good. So I'm gonna just let those 12 briquettes light the chimney, then we'll pour them in there to start it. So now we're about to load the coals in here. After the coals are called, we're just gonna go ahead and pour them right here in the center. All right. And let that, that'll help catch the rest of the coals. Let's see. Two of these unlit ones, but that's good. So I'm gonna let that catch just for a minute. Oh, let's we'll see if we got room for the water pan. Right. Oh, 
Alright, let this catch and just go just for a minute. You know, that's actually, you know, let everything kind of catch there just for literally just a minute. Go ahead and put this water pan in here, like that. Put some water in it. Okay. Then, we're going to put the riddle on. I'm going to choose to use this one here. Right. Like that. Now, i got to put a temperature probe in here. A little temperature. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to put my roast. My roast needs to go over here indirect. So, I kind of like my temperature probe about right here. So we can do the same readings what my roast is getting. So put the temperature probe here. Let me plug this into the old live reel too. With this in port number one. Turn this dude on. And let's just see how with everything wide open here, pretty much. And let this heat up just for a little bit and see how it does. Get up to around cooking temperature before we put the roast on. So I'm going to go ahead and sync my iGrill 2 app up with it. That way we can read the thermometer, all that sort of thing, you know, with uh, from inside. So we'll know. See, we're just at 87 degrees now on the, on the grill grate. All right, y'all, we've reached a little over 200 degrees. We're going to put the meat on here. Oh yes sir, look at that smoke ball down there. Put the roast on here. Let's see how we want to do it. Yes, we just about like that. Perfect. Now, let me get the temperature probe. Put it in the thickest part of the meat here. Probably good about that. What do you say? About that far back, maybe? Something about like that, yeah. Right there in the center. Oh, you get a good read on what we're looking at here. We'll uh, plug this into the dive reel, too. Another two slot. Gonna be good there. We will put the lid back on this dude. Let's come back up to temperature. Now I'll do the adjusting we need to do on the vents. I'll talk to you about that in just a minute. Now that the fire is caught a little bit better, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the vents on the bottom and close it just a hair. About like that. Leave about a confet pencil. Uh, open on it, you know, like you stick a big pencil in the vent. And on the top, it says you actually close this some with the smoking air, it suggests that. So, you go with that, just close it just a little bit there. And I actually added some more water to the uh, to the water pan in there. All right, y'all, we're about, let's see where we are on, on the beef. We're about 127, so we're almost there, about 130. I just want to baste it real quick. Look at this beautiful beef. We're basting it with, um, you know you want it, barbecue sauce. All this stuff is great, y'all. I just did a review video on it. You'll, I'm sure you, you see it right before this one. It's some wonderful stuff made by El Rabbit Barbecue. But we're just going to give this a quick base. Let's just sit on here for about five more minutes. And what that will do, uh, it'll just... Really just let this kind of cure on here. But this, oh, there's a beautiful crust on this roast, y'all. Couldn't ask for a better crust, you know. This, uh, the rub, the Dizzy Pig, the Sprass Rub, and with that little bit of coffee in it and everything. I did wonders on here. But anyway, we'll let that sit there. Just kind of roast on it just a little bit. Let's just come back up to temp. And we'll pull it off here in just a few minutes. All right, so we've hit about 133 in turn on this roast. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off. So it left, you got a little chance for that barbecue kind of cure on there. That's what we want to see. 
and then plug these probes. We'll need all that right now. Put this dude right here in the fall. I'm going to wrap them up and let them stand, you know, at least about 10 minutes and go ahead and pull the slice into it. Make sure, I'm sorry I haven't turned the camera off yet, but I ain't going to let these damn flies fly down this row before I get it wrapped up. Alright. Put that roast inside, but look, I just took that um, smoking egg off there and we didn't use that much fuel. There's still a lot of fuel we got left there. Cook some else on there. Move back to the center here. Let that kind of burn. But yeah, that, yeah, that thing can serve some fuel, y'all. That's, that's a good deal. Can't wait to try it using my my little kit too. Uh, my barbecue stacker as well. But I just clean it out. Set over here on the porch. I said, I mean, it's. It's clean for the most part, you know, we didn't we just got a little bit of discoloration. We expected we got your water pan here. You know, just gotta be careful getting out. You don't spill water all down the ash. But I, I like this little smoking area 1000, man. It kept that temperature going good, you know, between anywhere 225 to 275. So that's a good deal. I'll continue to use this. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and cut into this beauty here. I mean, this thing looks divine. Let it rest here for about 30 minutes, actually. A little bit longer than that, maybe. Let's zoom in here. We'll get a good little take of it. It's got that Red Eye Express rub on it, glazed with that good old You Know You Want It barbecue sauce. Let's just take it down here with this nice chroma oh, carving knife here, y'all. Let's just, oh, look at that beautiful roast. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, this is just divine. That's what we need. You can see with that probe coming there. And just did that. Sorry about that, y'all. Turn this phone off. You can see what a little hole where the probe was. But look at this, y'all. Fantastic. Perfect. Perfectly cooked. You can smell the smoke coming off this thing. Wow. That's a beautiful piece of roast right there, y'all. I'm serious. Mm, mm, mm. That's a good job right there. Go ahead and get a taste of this here in just a second. So I'm about to have to give this a taste. I mean, this is just so tempting here. Heat up a little bit. It's not, you know you want it. I'm just pull this out here. Slice a little bit of this. I'm going to taste it without the sauce first because I want to get some of that Red Eye Express rub taste in my mouth here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Mmm. 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 I'm telling y'all what. That is awesome. That rub, a taste of that really came through. It's a little bit right there on the outside. Mmm. 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 Taste that wonderful coffee. And a little bit of sweetness. Go ahead and dip this in the know you want it. Look at that, folks. That's a beautiful piece of meat right there. I mean, with that sauce. That is just gorgeous. With that, you know you want it. It is 100% excellent, y'all. I, I do a lot more roast like this. That's the way to eat roast beef. I'm serious with that smoke ring on the outside. Especially with that dizzy pig. A little bit of that coffee. All that wonderful taste in there. And look, just you know you want it. Barbecue sauce. Just shimmering right here on the outside, y'all. It's just gorgeous stuff.